In Conversation with Marie Hotans. Good evening. A recent magazine article about uh, my guest tonight described her, and I quote, as a world-renowned pianist living in an artistic backwater. The pianist is Gloria Sarinen, and the artistic backwater is, you guessed it, Calgary. Now, uh, that charge might have applied oh, 20 years ago when Mrs. Sarinen first arrived in, in Calgary, but times have certainly changed, and she herself has contributed enormously to broadening the city's artistic horizons through her work as a soloist, a teacher, a member of the 1-3rd 9th Chamber Trio, and more recently as uh, an impresario. Welcome to the program. It's, it's been a long time since, uh, since we've had a chat on television. Yeah. What was the... Um, the cultural ambiance, if you will, in, in Calgary like when you arrived here in, in 62? Well, let me just say right at this moment that the word backwater is not in my vocabulary. <laughs> <It didn't laughs> no, come the reporter me. said that. You yeah. didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it was different. Um, there was really, let's put it this way, you could, there was lots of scope to do all sorts of new and inventive things in the area of music, which is the only thing I know really a lot about. Right. And you said about uh, doing all sorts of uh, unusual things. Well, yes, it took me a little while to get going because, first of all, you've got to realize what the climate is like, who are the musicians, what they're attempting to do. And then if you, you know, really enjoy um, a musical life with um, the best artistic talents in the world today, then you sort of try to lure them into the area that you're living in. So that's basically what I really did. Well, you've, I, I, just, I get the impression that you've never just sort of sat around and waited for people to come to you, you know, okay, please, Gloria, would you do a, a concert for us or would you, uh, you know, get involved? You, you just plunge right in. Well, you? actually, no, that's no? not true because when I was younger, um, I expected that, you know, if you could do something and you could play rather well, that people would automatically jump to, um, to want you to perform on their series and so on. But that's not the case because there's, you know, for every, I wonder how many pianists there are in the world today, let alone other musicians. And everybody is looking for that place in the sun and everybody believes that they have that, that talent. And uh, so then you've got to really assess it much more closely and figure out now, if you believe enough in yourself, then you've got to find the ways. You've got to convince people. And if you know that you have good audience rapport, then no matter what, the critics say no matter what anyone says you just go ahead and find those openings and make them mm -hmm. if they're not there but you're, you are quite an innovator I, I'm thinking of the kinds of concerts where uh, where you do uh, chatty little introductions to each piece of music I mean really on a on a very personal basis with with the audience uh, you've been mm -hmm. criticized by oh, the critics yes. for doing that oh yes but Obviously, it works. I mean, the yes. audiences love it. Here's a very nice little story that you'll really love. I was in Montreal not so long ago, and in part of um, a music convention where I had performed in a church, and the audience was a long way away, so I walked off the, the area where the piano was and walked right down to them and talked in both English and French about what I was playing. For one thing, it was a new piece, one of Alan Ray's mm. sonatas that, he, that nobody knew, and they needed to know the story. And the audience loved it. But um, when this whole convention was analyzed at the end, somebody who shall be nameless in music, though, mm -hmm. got up and announced that I had given a program. And of course, in a, in a cultural back, uh, backwater, I'm using it now, not my words again, like Calgary, one talks to one's audience and instructs them. But of course, this doesn't happen out east. You know, I almost got up right then on the spot and said, I wasn't instructing, which I wasn't. You know, all I believe in doing is entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I'm not there to tell anyone anything. I just give them little bits of information that I think are fascinating. Is there that attitude as you travel around Canada about uh, yes. if Alberta? You live, if you live in the West, then you must be a second-class citizen to want to live there. Even a friend of mine, Al Fotheringham, who um, persistently lives in Vancouver, he has to keep flying out east, says the same thing. They, everyone says to him, look, we can give you all kinds of jobs and all kinds of interesting things to do if you only come out east. What are you doing staying out west? You've, you've traveled and performed mm -hmm. extensively mm -hmm. uh, as a soloist and certainly with, uh, with the trio, 139th. Yes. 
uh, you've traveled all over Europe, mm -hmm. the States. Are you more accepted, for instance, in, in Europe than you would be um, in other parts of Canada? Yeah, I would say yes. Isn't not it? in the West, but, um, and not everywhere in the East, but certainly Toronto. Is it difficult to get a booking there? I mean, would yes, you it is. In fact, I just read an article that Robert Silverman was playing for the first time in Toronto. He lives in Vancouver. So at least he made through. I'm delighted for him. Mm. <laughs> Have you played in Toronto? Oh, yeah. 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 I I've so. played in most places in the East. Was there ever any doubt that you would be a pianist, Gloria? I mean, did you start at a very early age with yes. piano? Yes, yeah. Oh. I was playing when I was three. I could three. play by ear, pick up anything I heard on the radio. So when you do something well, you tend to stick with it. Sure. I didn't like practicing, though, like anybody else. Yeah. But I had a mother behind me who made sure that I did that practice. It paid off. Uh, yeah. We have, to, uh, we have to take a break here, but we'll return with Gloria Serena right after this.